I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from Vitamin Pro, and I want to discuss a little bit about neurotransmitters. This is some very basic stuff, and the reason I'm doing this is because it helps to, to have a real basic understanding, so it'll be give you good motivation to finish your test, you know, do your, um, do your urine samples, send it into the lab so we can see what's going on. Now, in my opinion, people should, everybody should do this periodically, but of course, if you're having things like anxiety, depression, insomnia, migraines, that kind of thing, then, you know, it's really important to do it. Yeah, it's, it's vital. But, you know, it's not a bad idea to just do this as a routine, you know, every year or two, just to see what's going on. It gives you a pretty good insight into that, into your body's ability to maintain some kind of balance. Now, uh, neurotransmitters are the chemical messengers that go between one urine and the next. Now, you may have heard of something called a synaptic cleft. And that's the, the little zone between neuron one neuron and the next. So neurons pass along this information with these chemical messengers called neurotransmitters, and these are mostly amino acid based that um, send a signal from one to the next. Now the neurotransmitters are, are made in what we call the presynaptic neuron, and again these are primarily amino acid based, although uh, some uh, herbs also like St. John's wort and valerian also have certain effects on neurotransmitters as well. But as far as producing them, like serotonin or dopamine, uh, GABA, you know, you need to have these precursors to the neurotransmitters in order to make them. So the, um, <clears throat> the neurotransmitters come in two flavors. There's excitatory and inhibitory, and these are what we call clinical effects. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, so I won't go into all the details, but ultimately serotonin has a calming effect, so does GABA, so does glycine. Um, some of the, the uh, more important excitatory neurotransmitters would be things like epinephrine or epinephrine, which are also adrenal hormones, but they're also made in the brain and used there. Um, dopamine, uh, glutamate, histamine, of course you've all heard of histamine, if you, especially if you have allergy situations. So, the body produces these uh, excitatory and neurotransmitters, and a good way to think of this is, uh, is a car metaphor. You know, a car needs an engine and ability to go. That would be the excitatory neurotransmitters that heightens brain awareness and activity, but you also need brakes, and brakes would be the inhibitory guys, you know, the serotonin, GABA, etc. So, if these are in nice balance, you know, and your body has ability to respond to whatever it is that you need to respond to on that day, everything's great, you're nice and healthy, but if you have a diminished capability of maintaining that balance or producing some of these because of, because of uh, too much stress or, in, or um, dietary in, insufficiencies, then of course you're going to be in trouble. Now this is part one. Um, is, you know, look for part two, which I'll explain what we actually look for in the, in the actual testing.